Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to use the Remote for Slides extension in Chrome in order to replace your clicker. This option will allow you to use your iPad or a cell phone as a remote for your Google Slides and acts as though you are using a clicker. First what we're going to do is I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to my Chrome Web Store. So I use these apps right here. Click on Web Store. You could always type in Chrome Web Store to get here. And then once at the store, I'm going to type in Remote for Slides. And I'm going to select that. And this option pops up here. This is what I want. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to add it to Chrome. Yes, add extension. And now I see that it is up here in Chrome. I can come over here to my extension list and it's in alphabetical order and I can pin my remote for slides up here if I want it. And I'm gonna go back to my presentation that I started this video in. And as you can see, it doesn't say anything different right now, but if I refresh, I now have this option presented here. So instead of the normal present way, I have present with remote. When I select it, it puts it in my present mode, but it gives me a little bit more to the toolbar right here. And if I say start remote, what I need to do is to go to this site right here. And what I have done is I have bookmarked that site on my iPad. So I put up my iPad on the right to show you what my remote would look like. And this would be the same thing if you were using your cell phone. On the left here, I have my Google Slides presentation up, and this is just to show you what this would look like on both screens. So over here, I have this website to go to, and I also have a slide ID. So on my iPad, I'm going to pull up Safari. I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm going to select my bookmarks, and I have Remote for Slides already bookmarked on here. So I'm going to select Remote for Slides, and it already takes me to the website. So on my Google Slides, I have a slide ID. So I'm going to show my slide ID. And my slide ID is 3267.47. And I'm going to select Connect. And now I have this option here. And what's nice is it does hide the ID so that students can't hop on if they don't know it or see it before I share my screen with them. But once I hit next slide, it goes to my first slide. I can hit next slide again, and it goes to my next slide. And what's really option, off, and what's really nice is it actually offers to play the video for me. So if I have a video I want to show, I don't have to walk back to the front of the room and click play on my slides. I can actually select play video. And I can also select stop video whenever I need it to stop. And I go through my slides as usual as I need to. When I'm done, I can select the X on the prehistory stone age up at the top of my iPad and I can disconnect it from that presentation. Or I could also come here and say stop the remote. Okay, the nice thing is it's always this site to go to. The only thing that changes is that code right here for each slides presentation. I hope this is a nice way to get rid of that clicker and it makes it a little more seamless to be able to use it from anywhere with your phone or your iPad.